Lakers. Well, the top guys do get paid a lot. I mean, LeBron makes $33 million. Derek Carr certainly doesn't have the dominant, you know, DNA of LeBron. He gets 25. So quarterbacks get paid a lot of money. Quarterbacks in this league, I mean, Kirk Cousins, and he's not considered a top 10 quarterbacks up in the 20 million range. So I think quarterbacks get paid. Pass rushers get paid. I also think getting paid is a lot about the market. It's, a, it's about leverage. And right now, I mean, the way the NBA is humming with social media and TV and the finals ratings, um, I, I, listen, it, all, it also, unions are important. The players' union in the NFL is not as strong as the baseball umpires' union. The NFL players' union is I don't know if I buy that, it's not a very strong union by player standards. It's not. It's not the strongest union. Look, the, look, this NFL player, Sammy Watkins, no disrespect, but again, it's like a kid that grows up an only child comparing how much gets set on his plate versus a kid that's got five brothers and sisters. You get less chicken when you are got five brothers and sisters. There's 53 guys on an NFL team. There's 15 on an NBA team. There's about three guys on an uh, NBA team who matter. And then in the NFL, there's about 20 guys that matter. Uh, you got much bigger coaching staffs. You only play 16 games. They play 82. Watkins is delusional. Look, the NFL players, I think, get about 47% of the revenue. NBA players get about 50, 49.5%. If he wants to squawk about that, and that, that 2% difference, if, if the NFL, that would be a lot of money for the players coming to the players. But again, NFL salary cap, I think, is $170 million. NBA is $100 million. It's... Yeah. I got I got to defend my boy. He you know, he's not delusional. This is my guy Sammy. Love him. But it's it's hard to sit around as a premier player in the NFL like Sammy Watkins or Richie Incognito or a guy on another team and see these mid-level guys in the NBA, these role players, these guys coming off the bench signing deals bigger than any NFL players ever signed. And what, No, that's an exaggeration. Well, they not get more than Derek Carr. Well, not Derek Derek Carr, but you're talking about what about mid-level NFL players? Mid-level to mid-level. There's a couple different dynamics here. One basic mathematics, you have a lot more mouths to feed on an NFL roster. And after the last CBA agreement, you've seen the money dry up for the mid-level guys. The, there was big money going to the rookies. There was some money going to the, the, your, your quarterbacks, your, your edge rushers, those type guys. And now, since the money has dried up for the young guys, for the rookies, you have all the money at the top. You have a very small middle class, and then you have a lot of guys making uh, minimum salary. So... A lot of guys are upset with that, and you want to come back to leverage with the union. Again, it comes down to math. We have a lot more guys to keep happy when you have 12 guys on an NFL roster or 12 guys on an NBA roster, 30 teams. When you have a guy like LeBron James or Steph Curry or, some, or Cowie Leonard make a statement, these guys have a brand. They have power. When you have a guy on a football team like a Drew Brees, a Richie Incognito, uh, somebody who steps out, uh, an offensive lineman from a, from a program, and we step out and we talk about our contract, we're automatically limited, labeled as a distraction, and it's not good for the team. Right. So math and perception and the, the piece culture. of the pie, cu the culture, it's, it's completely different. And it, there's too many mouths to feed on an NFL roster to think that we're going to get that big of a, a, a pay raise. Uh, well, the word that we're using right here is deserve. Uh, that's a very strong word. Uh, no one gets paid what they deserve. You get paid what you negotiate. So, and that's, that's the bottom line in it. So when you say, will the numbers ever get there, they are getting there in some, in some cases. You will never get to the point to where all the players, because of the math, where all of the players are getting paid at the, at the rate that baseball players and basketball players are getting paid at. But the numbers are getting to where the stars mm -hmm. are making star money. It's getting close. You have 20 million, 25 million dollars players in the NFL. You didn't have anything remotely to that when I was playing in the league. Uh, and that is what is happening right now. So the money has to come from somewhere. They took it from the rookies. Now the vets are getting it. The mid-level guys, are, which is what the majority of the league is made up of, that's every league. But you had one or two stars on a team compared to 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. To have a core, your core players on a football team, you got to have 12 to 15 guys that are going to be making the money. Then those guys are going to get paid. So I actually think it is getting closer to the basketball.